problem with Hollywood? They make shit. Unbelievable, unremarkable shit. <laughs> and I'm not some grungy wannabe filmmaker searching for existentialism through a haze of bong smoke. It's easy to pick apart bad acting, short-sighted directing, or the, the stringing together of words studios term as prose. I'm talking about the lack of realism. Realism, not a, a pervasive element in today's modern American cinematic vision. Take Dog Day Afternoon, for example, arguably Pacino's best work, except uh, Godfather Part One and Scarface, of course. Masterpiece of directing. Easily Lamette's best. The acting, the script, the cinematography, all top notch. But they didn't push the envelope. What if Sonny had really wanted to get away with it? What if, and here's where it gets tricky. What if they started killing hostages? No mercy, no quarter. Meet our demand with the cute blonde in the bell bottoms gets it in the back of the head. Bam, splat. Still no bus? How many innocent victims would it take splattered across a window before the city reversed its policy on hostage negotiations? <laughs> this is 1976. There was no CNN, no CNBC, no MTV, no internet. Fast forward to the present time, same situation. Imagine the feeding frenzy of the modern media. In a matter of hours, it would be the biggest story from Boston to Budapest. All caught on 150 millimeter zoom, color corrected, computer enhanced. You could practically taste the brain matter. Six hostages died. 10, 12, 20, 30, relentless one after another. All over a bus, a plane, or a couple million dollars that were federally insured. Just a thought. Not exactly within the realm of conventional cinema, but what if? You know, this movie of yours, I don't think it would work. Really? How come? Audiences love happy endings. Pacino escapes the money. Boyfriend gets a sex change operation. They live happily ever after. Homophobia. That guy can't win. It's a morality tale. One way or another, he's got to go down. Well, life does tend to be stranger than fiction. Well, guys, got a jet. It's just kind of dead anyway. Thanks for the coffee. Rene Descartes is in a bar in Paris. Bartender asks, do you want anything else to drink? Descartes replies, I think not, and disappears. Stanley, you coming? <laughs> <laughs>